All right, guys, today we've got a video. We've done this for MXGP, but um, based on the way Supercross has been going, I kind of wanted to do this video for Supercross because we were kind of right with MXGP. It was, you know, the writing was on the walls and, you know, we thought the MXGP series was done because we hadn't got a game yet at the end of last year. And then I reached out to Milestone and they confirmed they didn't. They said they were done with MXGP for right now, basically, but it doesn't mean they won't return to it eventually or whatever. They didn't they didn't elaborate on the plans they had for that game, but for right now, yeah, MXGP is done. But Supercross kind of feels like it's going down the same path. So MXGP, when that game first came out, it was pretty cool, right? MXGP1, MXGP2, pretty cool. And it was okay for a while, and it had post-release content, you know, DLC, season pass, tracks, um, stuff like that. But then towards the end of the MXGP game uh, lifespan, it, I mean, the game came out and then it was missing stuff, like first person and certain tracks and whatnot. And then they would add it in a little bit later in an update. And that's kind of the way the last, at least for sure, the last two MXGP games were and they didn't have any DLC, right? So the game was kind of already getting less attention the last two years that it released, right? So Supercross kind of feels like it's going down that same path, right? So I have a bunch of things here I kind of want to talk about, show you, again, the writing is on the wall, I feel like. So again, we did this with MXGP, the series where we talked about it. They quit MXGP, haven't said you know, if they're going to come back to it or whatever, they just said, yeah, for right now, we're done. Maybe they come back to it in a year, maybe it's five years, maybe never, we don't know. But they quit MXGP. Supercross hasn't been selling well, I don't think. I mean, maybe you could find that information somewhere, but it doesn't feel like it has been because if you go look at the reviews across all the platforms that the game came out for, they're not very good. On Steam, I mean, I enjoyed the game. I'm actually pretty happy with 6. It doesn't I wish it would have had some DLC and some more updates to it, but I'm pretty happy with the game. But most people are not. If you look at Steam, they're very mixed reviews. And if you look on specifically Xbox, because that's where I was checking, the reviews are overwhelmingly bad. People aren't happy with it. They're not happy with the way the bike controls, the way you turn. There's a bunch of stuff people aren't happy with. So yeah the reviews aren't good and i feel like the game has been selling worse and worse and worse since maybe supercross 4 so i feel like it's just going downhill from there they've gotten a little bit lazy with the features and the way the game is made right so supercross 1 was pretty awesome right it was surprisingly good and then supercross 2 was okay but it wasn't my favorite supercross 3 was new from the ground up for the most part same core mechanics, but they redid the game and it was better. It was, in my opinion, the best Supercross game we've gotten with some cool DLC and whatnot. And then it felt like it went downhill. Supercross 4 was not as good as 3. It had some good DLC. We got the two strokes and the Monster Cup and the stuff we had come to be familiar with in that game. And Supercross 5 was kind of the same. We got some decent DLC post-release of the game, and they had the two strokes just in the base stock game. And it was okay, but it wasn't my favorite game. And then we got this game, Supercross 6, but no post-release content. We've had one or two updates. They added a straight rhythm track, but that's about it. Not really any DLC to speak of besides the credits multiplier and the really weird graphics kits and gear like the dragon graphics kit and gear set and the flames and ice, whatever it might be. So the DLC was pretty bad this year, basically non-existent, right? And when I say lazy with the features, the game hasn't changed too much and the track editor is just not good. We need more new stuff. I mean, they added different dirt color but that's about it the track editor is basically the same as it has been since supercross of four or even three maybe the track editor has gotten worse they've taken features away and it isn't it just it needs to be better it needs to be way better and it's not 
career has been not very good. The career is exactly the same in this year's game as it was in last year's game, right? It's exactly the same. The Futures races are identical, the exact same tracks, everything is the same. Nothing has changed with the Futures races and the career itself, the only real difference is that you have the, the new tracks, right? So career is not very good either and customization, it's not good. Luckily, I play on PC, so I have access to mods and can get all the new gear and make the game have good customization, but a majority of you, I feel like, play on console and don't have access to that, so the customization, it sucks. It just sucks. It needs to be way better. The system itself is fine. The choices, the options that you have are not good, so customization, not very good as well. Probably some other stuff. I, I kind of have a, a list I'm going through, but yeah, so maybe I'm missing a few things, but that's, you know, kind of the the main bulk of what I'm trying to say. And then we talked about it already a bit, but no DLC. This game just has the, the credits multiplier, and again, I think there's two different gear sets you can get and maybe graphics kits to go with it, two DLCs. It's just really not good, kind of original milestone stuff, but it's not, I mean, if you ride or watch Supercross or Motocross, you don't want the Dragon Pack, the Fire and Ice Pack. I mean, you just don't. It's just, who cares? Nobody cares. It doesn't, we don't want that. Okay, so that's the only DLC, and the game has been out for a while, and it doesn't really feel like we're going to get any DLC, right? It doesn't feel like if they were going to do it, they would have done it already, and I don't even know if you can get a season pass. This would be the first Supercross game I did not buy on a console. Usually I do because I like to do Does Your Track Suck, but the series has been falling off so bad that I don't feel like wasting 60 bucks to do one Does Your Track Suck and then be done with it. It just isn't, I'm not a rich man, and I don't feel like doing that. I just don't. So I didn't buy the game on console because of it. So yeah, it sucks. It really does suck. And then my last point towards are they done with Supercross, is this series going to be finished, is that the game is virtually dead right now. I mean, I don't know what it, you know, what the, how the way it is on console right now. Maybe the PC or the the console, Xbox, PlayStation lobbies are, are good, and there's a bunch of people playing, but on PC, nobody's playing, right? Nobody's playing, or not nobody, but not very many people are playing, and the game just feels like it's it's been this way for a few years now, where the game really feels like it just falls off really quickly. The game comes out, and then in two weeks, three max, it's just dead, and nobody's playing it. Supercross 1, 2, and 3 didn't feel that way. Supercross 3 especially, we ran a, a full Supercross series on our channel uh, midway through the season. I did a bunch of multiplayer stuff. I streamed it and made tons of videos. But Supercross 4, 5, and now 6, we I haven't done that many videos because the game is virtually the same. Even if I enjoy this game... And I do, I feel like I'm pretty decent at it. I mean, on PC, we don't have world record lap times, but actually I do, <laughs> I do. You'll see it probably somewhere at the end. I did turn the fastest lap time on the 250 on the new Champions straight rhythm track. But again, that's probably because nobody's playing the game. Nobody's playing it, it's, it's just done. So I have another point I kind of want to talk about, but I think I'm going to make it a separate video because I have way too much I want to say about it, but is the Supercross series done? No, there isn't any, like, confirmation from Milestone and, you know, whatever, but again, I'm going to come back to what I said twice already at the beginning of the video. The writing kind of feels like it's on the walls. It feels like the Supercross series is very close to being done. Maybe we get one more and they run Supercross for two years like they did with MXGP where they just do the game but don't do any meaningful changes or adjustments or updates to the game give us any good content post-release and maybe they do that one more time and run Supercross 7 but it feels like if they don't change something and make it better and get the players to enjoy their game and listen to the community feedback like right now this game is headed for an end it, it definitely is and that's unfortunate because I love dirt bike games I love supercross and motocross just dirt bike games in general and I don't 
want to see the series end. I don't want to have that happen. I want to see a good Supercross game. I want them to return to the Supercross 1-3 era where they could make a, a decent game. They need to completely revamp the Supercross series, but that's just kind of how I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll keep going, but let me know in the comments how you guys feel. What do you think? Do you think it's going to keep going? Do you think it's over? What do you think the future for Supercross is with Milestone? And I'd be curious to see. But you guys, girls, are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.